Five. Nux. Nux. No, Nux. There you go. Five. There you go. She's been like really good for me. Like just being able to come home after our, like we've had a little bit of a rough season. So being able to come home to her and no matter what, she's always in a good mood. She's always positive and always excited to see you. So it's uh, a little bit easier to come home too. Best player on the floor for 40 minutes. Let's Our go. leader, point guard. Yeah. McIntosh accelerating, gets inside, puts it up on the glass, counted and one. Two quick time plays by McIntosh. McIntosh, oh, another beautiful bounce in the finish. Greensburg, Indiana, number 30, Bryant McIntosh. When I graduated, I was just thinking about being a professional basketball player, so I was preparing. I was working out two or three times a day. I got a call in late August when I thought I was just gonna do the G League. It was a team in Belgium that wanted me to come play. Sanjay and, and Joey Van Zegren, former teammates, played for that team, so after talking with them, I knew it was like a, a pretty good situation. It was a good place to live, so I decided to give it a shot. I just never got to really be myself over there. Uh, I dealt with quite a few injuries. It became really frustrating with my senior year being very injured and never really being healthy. I went through two seasons with, without being like fully healthy. I think that made the, the choice of probably hanging up my shoes uh, a little bit easier. Really, for BMAC, ever since I recruited him in, in high school, he had always talked about eventually wanting to be a coach. I love the game. I thought my knowledge and my ability to connect with guys um, would, would be really good and beneficial and, and something I would enjoy. I just have always felt in programs when you can have guys that are good, um, were good players, but also are, are good mentors, good leaders, good role models. Uh, I think it's a great advantage for a program to have guys like that to come back. We talked and you know he, he told me that's, that he wanted to hire me and bring me on, so it was really exciting. I thought it would make for a, a potentially a really good fit for him and for us. Uh, the biggest part of my job is scouting. Um, pulling video and trying to pick up tendencies and, and coaches tendencies and play calls and all that just to prepare our guys. Our zone probably needs to be a little bit better, uh, especially in transition. They really exploited us in transition, trying to get back into our 2-3 zone. I've picked things up pretty fast. I, I think because I care so much, I'm going to do my best to try and learn. He's worked incredibly hard and, you know, he still has a lot to learn. He's just starting this whole thing, but in the role he's done to learn kind of the technology aspect, all the things that are going on with video now, I've really been proud of his development so far. It's something I've always dreamed of, of being back here and helping coach and, and getting this program to where we, we always wanted it to be. I can talk to the experience to losing and you know overcoming and finding a way to finish the season strong. But B Mac can can talk more of, you know, finishing that season strong, turning his sophomore year into a twenty plus one season and then the junior year to the tournament season. And it's a process. Uh, I think these guys realize that. Trying to get them to understand the the little finite details are so important to winning and losing a game. He's really tried to take a lot of these young players under his wing, which as a mentor and as a role model, and you know, it's, it's never easy. I mean, it's, it's, the, the journey they're going through is very similar to what he went through. You know, I, I want to be a head coach one day, and I think you have to work your way up, so I think this is a great first step. And this is the place I love. Just a, a, a big deal for me, and I'm really happy to be back. Hey, family on three, one, two, three. Family.